welcome back to our tutorial session. Again, I am your tutor, Tutor Rose Ann. Join me as we explore the fun and exciting world of mathematics. Okay, so today, nasa week 2 na tayo ng ating quarter 2 for this school year. Ang ating lesson for today ay solving problems involving conversion of units. Okay, so bago tayo magsimula, pasalamatan po muna muli natin ang DepEd Sock Surgeon Region para sa pagbigay pagintulot sa atin sa paggamit ng kanilang module. Our objectives for today, convert metric unit to another metric unit, convert English system unit to another English system unit, third one is convert metric unit to English system unit, and vice versa. And lastly, solve problems involving conversion of units. Okay, so nahin natin yung conversion of length. Example, convert 108 inches into feet. So ang gagawin natin, i-convert natin yung inches. So ano ba equivalent ng 108 inches into feet? Okay. So here are some of equivalent conversion of some units. So, makikita natin, ito ay for length muna, okay? So, makikita natin, we have the units of length in English system, in metric system, and system-to-system -system conversion. Dito, makikita natin that one foot is equal to 12 inches. So, paano ba i-convert ang units to another units? First, we have to compare the two units. Kung parehas ba silang nasa English system, kung sila ba ay nasa metric system, or system to system conversion ang gagawin natin. So, balikan natin yung ating uh, convert 108 inches into feet. So, sabi natin kanina na ang 1 foot ay equivalent kay 12 inches. So, ang gagawin natin, mumultiply lang natin yung ating given dito. Itong 108. So, 108 inches. Multiply lang natin sa conversion factor natin, which is 1 foot over 12 inches. So, take note na dapat yung pagsulit natin ng fraction of the factor ay yung denominator niya Ang unit for the denominator ay dapat katulad ng given natin, which is the inches. So, we have 108 inches times 1 foot over 12 inches. Okay, so ngayon may eliminate na natin yung uh, unit na inches. Okay, so that would be equal 108 times 1 foot is 108 feet over 12 inches. And do the operation. So, we will just divide 108 feet to 12. And that would be 9 feet. So, this one would be the final answer. Let's have another example. Convert 39 decimeters into millimeters. Balikan natin yung kanina nating table for equivalent of conversion. Makikita natin that 10 decimeter ay equal daw kay 1 meter. Okay? And then, ang 1,000 millimeter naman ay equal kay 1 meter. So, yun yung gagamitin nating fraction factor. Convert 39 decimeter into millimeter. So, write natin 39 decimeter multiply natin kay a uh, 1 meter over 10 decimeter and then multiply by 1000 millimeter over 1 meter. From decimeter to meter to millimeter tayo. Cancel out na natin si decimeter. And then also, meter. Kung mapapansin nyo, after elimination, ang, ang matitira na lang sa ating unit ay yung millimeter. Okay. Then do the operation. So, 39 times 1 is 39 times 1,000 is 39,000 millimeter. 
over 10. Oh, 10 na lang pala. Okay, over 10. Then 39,000 divided by 10, that would be 3,900 millimeter. So yung equivalent ni 39 decimeter, 2 millimeters. How about this word problem? A tamarau calf was 2 foot 5 inches long. Fully grown, it is 3 times as long. How long is the fully grown tamarau? So, ang tinatanong dito ay kung gaano na yung haba, okay, yung haba ng isang fully grown tamarau. So, ano, paano ba ang gagawin natin? All we have to do is to multiply the given, which is 2 foot 5 inches, so, 2 foot 5 inches, multiply lang natin sa 3. Okay? So, 2 feet times 3, that would be 6 feet. Then, 5 inches times 3, that is 15 inches. So, kung mapapansin nyo, si 15 inches, makakabuo na rin tayo dito ng isang foot. Hindi ba? Kasi ang sabi natin, Ang 1 foot ay equivalent kay 12 inches. So, 15 inches, meron na tayong mabubuo ditong 1 foot. So, all we have to do is to convert this 15 inches into foot. Okay? So, we have here 6 feet plus, so convert natin si 15 inches. Okay? So, multiply natin kay 1 foot over 12 inches. So, cancel out na natin si inches dito. Okay. So, now we have 6 feet plus. So, 15 times 1 is 15. Okay. 15 feet over 12. Then, do the operation. So, 6 feet, 15 over 12. That is 1.3. So, makakabu tayo ng 1 foot. Then, 3 inches. So, so what, si 6 feet and 1 foot, pwede na din natin siyang pagsamahin. Okay, so dito na natin siya ilagay. Okay, so 6 feet plus 1 foot, that would be 7 feet and 3 inches. So, ito na yung um, long ng fully grown tamarau. Okay, 7 feet, 3 inches long. Next. So, how about this? We have the conversion of mass. Okay, so let's have the first example. Convert 7.2 pounds into uh, ounces. Okay, again, meron din tayong uh, equivalent conversion for mass. So, again, meron tayo din English system for metric system, and system to system. Okay, so dito naman, makikita natin na isang pound ay equal kay 16 ounces. So, gagamitin natin siya. So, 7.2, yung 16 ounces natin kanina, over 1 pound. So, write natin as multiplication. So, 7.2 pounds, 7.2 pounds times 16 ohms over 1 pound. Then, eliminate natin yung uh, same unit natin sa numerator and denominator. Okay, ang titira, 7.2 times 16, that would be 115.2 ohms over 1. So, yung 1 as denominator, hindi na natin kailangan pang isulat yun. So, automatic na ito na may 1 as denominator. So, therefore, this 1 is our final answer. Okay, so balikan natin si problem. 11, convert 11.3 grams into pounds. So, ang gagamitin natin is the 1 pound okay, over approximately 0.45 kilogram and then the other one is 1 kilogram over 1,000 gram. Sulat lang natin siya, 11.3 11.3 grams 
times 1 kilogram over 1,000 gram, then multiply to 1 pound, 1 pound over approximately 0.45 kilogram. Okay, eliminate natin ngayon si grams and kilograms. And then do the operation. So 11.3 times 1 times 1 pound, that would be 11.3 pound. Okay. Over uh, 1,000 times, 1,000 times 0.45 Okay, that would be 450. Okay, so 11.3 pounds divided by 450, that would be 0 0.025 pounds. Okay, so this one is our final answer. Okay, let's have this word problem. A forwarding company charges 1,100 pesos for the first 20 kilograms and 60 pesos for each succeeding 2 kilogram for freight sent to Europe. How much do you need to pay for a box weighing 88 pounds? Okay, so paano po ba yun? So first, we have to convert the 88 pounds into kilogram. Okay, so convert muna natin siya. So 88 uh, pounds times natin kay approximately 0.45 uh, kilogram over 1 pound. Okay? So cancel out the pounds. Okay? And that would be 88 times 0.45. That would be 39.6 kilograms. So ito yung equivalent ni 88 pounds in 2 kilograms. So, ito na ngayon yung gagamitin natin. Okay, so step 2, subtract lang natin yung first 20 kilogram. Itong first 20 kilogram na nagkakahalaga daw ng 1,100 pesos. So, subtract natin siya. So, 39.6 kilogram minus yung first 20 kilogram. Okay? So, that would be 19.6 6 kilogram. Okay, ngayon, ang tanong, sabi, for each succeeding 2 kilogram, ay nagkakahalaga daw yon ng 60 pesos. Okay? So, magkanto kaya ngayon yung 19.6 kilogram? So, ang gagawin natin, uh, i-divide natin ang 19.6 kilogram by 2. Okay? And then, multiply natin sa 60 pesos. So, that would be 588 pesos. So, ito yung halaga. Okay? Ito na yung halaga nung 19.6 kilogram. So, ang tanong, magkano daw yung ang babayaran? Okay? So, for 39.6 kilogram or 88 pounds. So, all we have to do is to add, okay, add natin yung 20 kilogram. Ang 20 kilogram ay nagkakahalaga ng 1,100 pesos. Ang 19.6 kilogram naman, okay, nagkakahalaga naman ng, 5, ng 588 pesos. Okay, so add lang natin yan. Okay, ang magiging answer ay 1,688 pesos. So, ito yung kabukang halaga na babayaran for 88 pounds. Okay, next is the conversion of area. Convert 1.7 acre to square yard. Again, meron na ulit tayong table for area or yung equivalent conversion for Area. So again, meron tayo dito in this system for metric system and system to system conversion. Okay, so based from our table, one acre is equal to 43,560 square feet. And one square yard ay equal naman kay 9 square feet. So ito yung ating gagamitin. 
gagamitin natin dito yung 43,560 feet or square feet rather over 1 acre. And then, the other one is you 1 square yard over 9 square feet. So, ganun lang din ang gagawin natin. Mumultiply lang natin yung given. So, 1.7 acre multiplied by 43,560 square feet over 1 acre multiplied by 1 yard, 1 square yard, over 9 square feet. So, cancel out the acre and square feet. So, matitira na lang na unit A yung square yard. Do the uh, operation. So, 1.7 times 43,560 times 1, that would be uh, 74,000 52 square yard. Okay. Over, so 1 times 9, that would be 9. So divide lang natin, ang makukuha natin sagot dyan, ay 8,228 square yard. So this one is our final answer. Convert 1.2 hectare to square meter. Okay, so ignanalit natin yung ating table. Sabi natin, ang 1 hectare ay equal, equal to 100R. Okay, and 100R is equal to 100 square meter. So, ganun din ang gagawin natin. Multiply lang natin. So, 1.2 um, hectare times 100R over 1 hectare times... 100 square meter over 1 R. Then cancel out natin ang uh, hectare and R. Then do the operation. So 1.2 times 100 times 100 square meter, that would be 12,000 square meter. Okay, so this one is the final answer. So, no need to write the denominator. So, 1 times 1 is still 1. So, hindi na natin kailangan isulat pa yung 1 as denominator. Okay, let's have this word problem. Another word problem. So, Joel is using a bed which is 2 meters long and 1.3 meters wide. Okay, what is the size of the bed in square centimeters? So, ang tinatanong dito yung area ng uh, bed ni Joel. Okay, so una, we have to find the area of Joel's bed. So, paano ba ang pagkuha ng area? So, area is equal to length times width. So, all we have to do is to multiply the length and the width. So, that is 2 meters times 1.3 meters. Okay, so 2 times 1.3, that is 2.6 Square meter. So, ito yung area ng bed ni Joel. Pero ang tanong, ano daw yung area ng bed ni Joel in square centimeter? So, all we have to do is to convert this 2.6 square meter into centimeter. So again, yung area natin ay 2.6 square meter. So, convert natin siya into centimeter. So, multiply lang natin sa 100 decimeter over 1 meter square times, oh, this one is cent, uh, squared also, times 100 centimeter square over 1 decimeter square. Cancel out uh, square meter and square decimeter. 2.6 times 100 times 100 centimeters square. So that is 26,000 okay, 26, square centimeter. So this one is the equivalent uh, conversion of 2.6 square meter. Nakakasunod pa ba? 
Let's have another one. Conversion of volume. So convert 2.4 cubic yard to cubic feet. We have also here the conversion or equivalent conversion for volume. Again, we have here the English system for English system, metric system, and system to system conversion. Here we have once a cubic yard is equal to 27 cubic feet. So ito yung ating gagamitin sa pag -convert. So 2.4, 2.4 cubic yard multiplied by 27 cubic feet over 1 cubic yard. So, cancel out the cubic yard. 2.4 times 27, that is 64.8 cubic feet. No need, again, no need to write the 1 as denominator. So, this one is our final answer. How about for time, conversion of time? How many hours, okay? Ilang oras daw? How many hours are there in a half month? So, ilang oras daw ang meron sa, sa kalahating buwan? Okay, sa kalahating buwan na. So, measure for English metric and equivalent. So, we have here for uh, fluid volume, for time, and system to system conversion. So, sabi, one month is approximately 30 days. Kasi meron siya tayong month na 31 May 29, minsan nagiging 28. And also, one uh, a one day is approximately 24 hours a day. Okay. So, this meron daw approximately 24 hours in a day. So, again, how many hours are there in a half month? Ilang oras ang meron sa uh, kalahating buwan? So, sulat natin ng half month as 0.5. So, 0.5 month, 0.5 month, multiply natin kay 30 days, okay, 30 days in one month. And multiply natin kay approximately 24 hours in a day. Okay, so cancel out month and days. Okay, so multiply natin 0.5 times 30 times 24 hours is approximately 360 hours. So this one is our answer. Okay, next, how about this? Conversion of temperature. Convert 60 degree Fahrenheit to degree Celsius. So, balikan natin yung ating table. So, ang degree Celsius ay equal kay 5 over 9 multiplied by the uh, degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So, ito yung ating gagamitin. Okay, so again, paano yung gagamitin natin? We have the degree uh, Celsius is equals to 5 over 9 times degree Fahrenheit minus 32. Okay, substitute lang natin. 5 over 9. Substitute natin yung degree Fahrenheit as 60. Okay, minus 32. Degree Celsius is equals to 5 over 9. 60 minus 32, that would be 28. So, times 5 over 9. So, 28 times 5 is 140 over 9. So that would be approximately 15.56 degrees Celsius. So approximately lang kasi meron pa yung mga kasunod yung decimal point natin. Next. Uh, a man with the flu has a temperature of 102 degree Fahrenheit. What is his temperature on Celsius scale? Ganun din. So, ang gagamitin ulit natin ay degree Celsius is equals to 5 over 9 times uh, degree Fahrenheit minus 32. So, 5 over 9. Well, 5 over 9 
substitute lang natin ang degree Fahrenheit as 102 minus 32. 5 over 9 times 102 minus 32, that would be 350 over 9. Okay. And 350, 350 over 9 is equals to 38.9 degrees Celsius. So this one is his uh, temperature, yung may lagnat daw na uh, man. Okay. Ito daw yung kanyang temperature. Ayan, ngayon alam nyo na kung paano ang uh, pag-convert ng units. Alam kong masasagutan na ninyo ang inyong modules. You can check your answer by referring on page 21 for the answer key. Okay, so now let's have a short recap. These are the tips in converting measure. First, compare the two units. Kung sila ba ay parehas na English system, metric system, or system-to-system -system conversion. Second is find the conversion factors that gives the appropriate ratio to the given unit. Third, write the conversion as a fraction where the denominator is in the same unit as the given unit. Write a multiplication problem with the original number and the fraction. Cancel out similar units that appears on the numerator and denominator. And lastly is to solve. And that's the end of our discussion today. Salamat sa mga nakasama natin ngayong araw. I hope that you enjoy learnings today. See you all next week. And together, let us all be matatalinong learners. Bye!